it's Sandy Parker. Welcome to Crafting for Almost Everyone. Today I've done two videos. Well, this is the second one I'm going to be doing. It's going to be repurposing an ornament that I just didn't love anymore. Or, and this was a complete fail. I decided I was going to do a napkin ball and I mod podged it and I don't know what the heck, but it's so hard you can't stick a pin into it. So I had to give up on that idea. So one of the things that this little girl likes that I'm redoing her room is she likes butterflies. And I just happen to have a ton of butterfly embellishments, hopefully enough to cover this ball. And I've already stuck a piece of um, ribbon in with two pins. I did that before the Mod Podge went crazy on me. And... For those of you who know how crazy I am with the glue gun, I had a glue gun that was um, cordless. And it is so hot that it smokes, literally smokes, when you use it. I had this, this is my old glue gun, and since I'm going to be touching this a lot, I did go to Joann's, and because I'm a gutless piece of crap, I bought myself finger guards. I'm not like the rest of you crafters that are brave and strong and willing to take it for the team. I'm too chicken, and I burnt myself too many times with hot glue, and I decided this is it. I'm going to go for a whole new look, outlook on life. Or I just don't want to burn myself anymore. So what I want to do is I do have some of these have a sticky back on them, but I don't know necessarily that I'm going to go with that as much as I wanted to have some durability. I did stick one on with the sticky back, and it did stick. I mean, it is sticking with the dimensional, but I'm not sure if it's going to last. So I want to. I think what I'm going to do is play with the glue, see if I can burn myself and everything else and create something that isn't garbage. If it's garbage, you'll never see this video anyway, so that's the way we're gonna play this game. I'm putting a lot of glue around the top just because that's where I'm gonna place the beginning of all of these butterflies. I'm doing the one-dimensional butterflies on the top, or as close to the top as possible, because what I thought was I wanted these butterflies to look like they were kind of nesting on the ball. So that's what I'm trying to do first. Then after I get the first layer of butterflies on, then my next plan is to put the ones that have layers in and around where these other butterflies are not. And I, I also, because I'm a super duper crafter, I bought myself these jumbo glue sticks that are supposed to last forever because they're longer and, you know, bigger than the average bear. My friend Linda told me that, I, I'm sure if you watched any of my videos, you heard that she told me that all I have to do to get rid of those little strings is put some heat to this when I'm done. So that is my intention is that after I'm done, I'm going to heat it up and make sure that all of my strings are gone. Isn't it funny how I have this thing on my finger and I've never once used that finger to do anything with? <laughs> okay, I'm going to try this finger. See if that's the one I use. You'd think I'd know which finger I use to do crafts with, but apparently I don't. Ugh, what to do? What to do? Okay, so that is our first layer and I'm going to bend... I think I'm going to glue that little fella down a little bit more on the top because he's trying to literally fly away. Darn it. Oh, and I do know that rule about s swirling the glue so that it doesn't, so that I don't end up with the strings, but I forget to do, I, I forget half the things I'm supposed to do I, in the moment of the excitement of the whole project. So we have the top covered with butterflies. Not bad so far. Then... We're going to go on to plan B, which is, I don't know how big I want to go with some of these butterflies. Let's go with this bad boy. And see, I'm still going to take the sticky back off of it just because I want to make sure, and I'm bending them kind of to shape, shape them more toward what the ball is shaped like because I really want them, I want them to become one with the ball. <coughs> whatever 
it's a zen thing apparently my butterflies are having a little zen moment with the ball I bet you're wishing I probably just thrown this ball away huh <laughs> Isn't it sad how I make myself laugh? Look! I'm using the, the finger thing. It's a moment. I'm having a moment here where I'm actually using the thing I'm supposed to be using. Then I'm going to go with... I have a lot of butterflies. I just am picky, apparently. I just keep looking at them and deciding which ones I want to use and none of them make me happy. I don't know if any of you repurpose things or not when it comes to your crafts, but... Ow! Jeez! Still burn myself, but it's fun when you do that because, I, I mean, I really, I, I, uh, okay, I love to throw things out. I really do love to throw things out. Uh, I, I like to declutter all the time, and uh, that's like one of the, my favorite things to do in the world is throw things out. Not, I mean, I'm not talking literally throw them out, but recycle re re um, them, get them, just get them out of that, get them out of wherever they're at and get rid of them. And uh, so when I get a chance to do something like this where I'm not only repurposing, but I'm also getting the chance to do something like get rid of some supplies that I've had for a while. I mean, I think I had, haven't had these butterflies for a little while. I'm sure. I think, I, I don't know how long ago I got them, but I think I got them at Michael's. And I um, I liked them at the time, but I never could figure out what I was going to do with them. And you know, then you end up with butterflies forever. You just can't get rid of them because you just you, you want to use them, but you just don't know what you're going to use them for. I'm, I'm upgrading to two two fingered things. I might end up with all three of them on. The only problem is if I use more than what I already have on, I probably won't be able to pick anything up. Ugh! Frustrating! Okay, let's put some more stuff on this. Oh, that one's attached itself right to the surface. That's even better. And I've also changed from gluing the ball to gluing the thing, uh, the um, butterfly. I think I'm going to go back to gluing the ball. I'm pretty much safer that way. And I'm adding in a little bit of orange butterflies because this little girl likes orange and I want her tree to be her butterfly ornament to be exactly the colors that she chooses and if she chooses orange who are we to say she doesn't need an orange butterfly on her tree she needs one it really is starting to look I, I mean I know it looks a little bit crazy but when you think about the 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 fact that you're trying to take something that was literally garbage and turn it into something that's only technically garbage. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Who would have thought? Who would have thought we could have repurposed a bulb and made it into a big ball of butterflies? I'm going to glue some of these edges down. Let's see. A little bit more glue on this little fella. Okay, so here's our ball. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn it around this way. I'm not going to put another ribbon on it, I don't think. I think we're going to go with it as is. And uh, I'll just spin it around so you can see. I think this is adorable. And if I was a little girl, I would really like it. And if you think it's tacky as anything, that's okay. I don't care. It's just, it, again, it's not for an adult. It's not for my Christmas tree. It's for a little girl. And a little girl would love something that's covered in her favorite thing, which is butterflies. And so I'm going to spin it around for you, but I'll put it up so you can really see. Isn't it cute? Look at all those butterflies. They're just adorable. But here it is from the top. I'm going to stick my finger in it so you can see it. Isn't it cute? I think it is. Anyway, that's our project. We repurposed a ball that was going to go in the trash. We made it into something that is cute, I think, for a little girl, and I think this little girl especially is going to adore it because she loves butterflies, and she likes orange, and this is a cute, cute little thing. So hopefully you'll, you'll like it too, and you'll give me a thumbs up and subscribe. There's the thumb. Let me get this stuff out of the way so you can really get a good look at it. There it is. Let me zoom in on it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.